Hey, what's going on, guys? Bring, they bring you a tutorial today on how to host two Modern Warfare 2 infections, or like two infections, two patches at the same time. Now, at this moment in time, I'm hosting, I've got a bypass patch on and a non bypass patch on. The bypass patch, I've got Joker Ray's edit of uh, Black Rain, and I've got my uh, V1.05 on at the moment. So, basically, to start this off, we're going to switch to my computer in a sec, but you're going to want to delete. You won't have two here, but you're going to want to delete both Modern Warfare 2 files. You're going to, or the Modern Warfare 2 file you'll have there. And you won't have this. Just delete. Just delete your um, Modern Warfare 2 folder out of the game data that utility. You have to be on a jailbroken PS3 before. I, I forgot to mention. You need to be on a jailbroken PS3. And once you've deleted um, like the folders, um, we're going to head over to my uh, computer now. So, yeah, here we go. Okay guys, so now that we're on our computer, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need a USB stick, which I have plugged in right now. So once you've got it plugged in, you're going to want to open it up, and you're going to want to download this file that's in the description. It's called Bypass 1.12 Pack, but and you're going to want to open it up, and you're going to want to find Multiman, and you're going to want to drag this package file in. Okay, and once you've done that, we're just going to head back over to my uh, 3.55 PS3 to show what to do now. Okay guys, just a quick add on to this, I forgot you're going to need to get the uh, 1.11 package file from Blez00683 and you're also going to want to put that on your USB stick which I have in my PS3 but you're going to want to um, put the 1.11 package file that which will also be in the description as well as Multiman in your, um, on the, uh, what's it called, in the, uh, what's it called, the root of your USB stick so once you've put the Morty Man and the Mono for Two package file in there. Then now we're gonna head over to our PS3. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, guys. Now that we've done that, and we've now got the 1.11 package file on our USB stick as well as the Morty Man. With it, what we're going to need to do is just forget about that for the minute. We are going to just plug our USB stick into our um, into our 3.55 PS3, and you are going to want to go to Install Package Files. And you'll see two folders, okay? So you're going to want to install Multiman and wait for that to install. And then you're also going to want to install the 1.11 package file as well. Just wait for that to install quickly. And now, once that's installed, so you've now got the uh, the 1.11 package file installed as well as the Multiman, you're going to want to go to in network settings and turn your internet connection enabled and then go onto any like black box FTP or any other FTP server for your PS3 so once you've gone onto one of them we're going to head over to my computer to show you what to do now and plus wait there just wait for it to load up you're going to want to remember this IP address that it shows you on the screen which mine is 192.168.0.3 so yeah I'm about to go over to my, P I mean, to my computer now bye okay guys so now that we're on our computer you're going to want to load up any like FTP server I'm going to use FileZilla so we're going to open FileZilla or any other one that you're using and we're in the host section you're going to want to type in the IP, the IP address that it says on your screen on your jailbroken PS3 so mine's 192.168.0.3 and in the username we're going to type in FTDP12345 now this is for black box I don't know what else you type in in the password you can type in 12345 and the port is 21 for some reason for me I find it goes slower so we're just going to go click quick connect Okay, so now you've done that, you want to go into dev underscore hdd0 and go game. And then you'll get this, uh, what's it called, this blaz00683 folder. Okay, so you want to open it up and go into the USR directory and you'll get an eboot.bin. Okay, you want to drag that onto your desktop and wait for it, that's finish. And then you want to go back and back again into these blaz folders. Now you'll see a blaz80608, you want to go into that and to check that this is hopefully the multiman folder so just to check you want to go on the icon right click and view slash edit yep so we've got the multiman folder now you're going to want to go into the USR directory and replace the eboot so drag the eboot from the modern warfare 2 1.1 package file that you dragged onto your desktop drag it into this multiman folder and click ok and wait for that to be done now once that's done you want to go back and then you're going to get this param.sfo param folder and drag that onto your desktop okay now once you've got this folder I'm trying to go very slow you're going to want to go into the uh, bypassing 1.12 pack and you're going to want to go to this SFO editor you're going to want to open it and it's only a beta it'll say it's okay okay and then you're going to want to load and it, you want to load your SFO folder and now it'll, the title will be multi man 
all you're going to want to do is name it something along the lines of like Modern Warfare 2 Bypass, that's what I call it. And then you're going to want to go save. And just go save and yes. And just to prove that it's changed the name of it, we just open, just double check it again, open it up again, just to check that it has actually worked. So load SFO, and there you go, Modern Warfare 2 Bypass. So now once you've done that, you're going to want to now open up your... Um, uh, FileZilla again and replace the powerm.sfo that you've got on your desktop in the in the multi-man folder. Now that's done, you're going to want to now head back over to your 3.55 uh, PS3. So we'll just close the server down on my PS3. By, and so now I'll see you guys on my 3.55 PS3. Okay guys, so now that we are on our 3.55 PS3, now multi-man hasn't changed name yet, but it will. You, now you're going to need your Modern Warfare 2 disc, okay? Now you're going to want to go to Internet Settings and Network Settings and turn them off, disable them, okay? So now in your, um, you want to plug in your, I mean you want to put in your Modern Warfare 2, as so, and just make sure it doesn't load the game automatically. Just like do whatever, just like go on a menu or something. And then once you've put that in, okay? You're going to want to open the multi-man folder. Okay, not the Modern Warfare 2 game. Don't load the game. Load the multi-man folder. And now sometimes you'll get a trophy error. Sometimes you won't. I don't get a trophy error. I don't know why. But I mine works and I don't get a trophy error. So I'm guessing it should work. So now it'll load Modern Warfare 2 up as normal. And go start multiplayer. Once you've now gone multiplayer. It will now just load this up and whatever. Now you're going to want to just quit the game okay so now once you've like once just wait for the game to come back on quickly dun, 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 dun. just wait for it okay so now that now that the game's come off now you're going to want to go back onto your computer to do some more stuff with the FTP so just load a black box once again but to, but this time go to network settings and turn your internet back on and load up your black box and just will meet you again on my 3.5 I mean on my computer so see you in a minute okay guys here we are now on my computer and these are all the parts to this like tutorial from all the way up to here but anyway now you go going to want to open up your filezilla again and connect back to your ps3 and you're going to want to go dev and just go hdd0 and go game and this time you get a blush 303377 now you won't have had this before you want to go into this and go into the usr directory and it'll be, e and it'll be empty Okay, so you're going to go into the bypass and 1.12 pack that we downloaded before and go into the 1.11 patch maps and default.ff and drag all the default.self, the DLC1 and the DLC2 in there. I deleted the patch in there because the patch is the modded patch that you're going to be using. So just wait for these three folders to go on. And then we are going to pick a Modern Warfare 2 bypass patch of your choice. And the choice that I'm going to pick is going to be, well, I'll pick a patch as we go along. So get your patch, that this, this bypass patch that you're going to want to host. I'm going to go into my patches and find a patch that I like. Let's say I'm going to use the Fallen's um, Project Vendata, the unreleased one. So you just put your patch on that you want. And now that that's done, now what you can do is you can go back and you'll see this image here, okay? Now what you can do is you can delete the image and replace the image in the blurs folder with the bypass icon because this is this is just to show that we're using the bypass one okay and you want to go back and you're going to want to go into the blurs 00683 and then you'll see this just just ignore this for the minute so once you've now got that blurs folder what you're going to want to do is we are going to um, close the server on our PS3 like so and we're going to get our USB stick and we're going to plug it in Let me just plug mine in there we go. and wait for it to pop up now you're going to want to download the 1.13 package file now so you can delete the 1.11 out of your USB stick and put the 1.13 package file in this is it so drag the 1.13 in and then wait for that to load like that. Okay, so now once that's loaded, just go back to your 3.55 PS3 and I'll show you what to do now. Okay guys, so now that we're back on our PS3, we're going to want to plug in our um, USB stick into our uh, 
onto into our 3.55 and you're going to want to go into data transfer utility now i did try this before and there was an error but i know what happened so you will have a bypass like it'll say bypass and you'll have another one which was normal and if you click it and go information it'll say size like 17 or 16 meg and version 1.11 you just want to delete that and keep this bypass one okay and now you're going to want to go into install package files and install the 1.13 like like we did before just wait for it to install and voila so now if we go into the game data utility we've now got a 1.13 which is 17 meg and we've also got the bypass okay so now we're going to go back to our computer to do some final things to this and this tutorial is nearly over thank god so yeah guys uh, i'll see you on my ps i mean on my computer i always get them mixed up i'll see you on my computer okay guys so now we are back on our computer and this is the final part to this now we are going to want to go to network settings on our ps3 and just load up our ftp server once again i forgot to show you that but load up your ftp P setting. I mean your FTP program. I'm getting kind of like confused what I'm doing now because I'm doing so much at times. So now mine's loaded up. You want to go into FileZilla and load it up, and then go dev underscore hdd zero game. And now on this multi man folder, the blaz eight o six o eight. You want to go there and you want to delete the icon like that, and you're going to want to load up the bypass and one point one two pack and drag the one point one one bypass in there. That's for the Blaz A0608. And now you're going to want to go into the Blaz 00683 folder and delete the image in there. And this time you're going to want to drag in the retail one, like so. And then you're going to want to go into USR directory and delete the patch, like that. And put in any desired patch you would like. So for this, I'm going to put in my uh, my my v 1.05 and drag that in and that is it guys so i'm just going to show you what to do now on the ps3 once we have done that okay guys so just close the ftp server and i will see you back on my ps3 for the final time see you guys okay guys for the final time so as you can see we're on our ps3 now and it says model for two bypass there with the model for two bypass logo the game data utility with the retail there and the bypass there so all you're going to do now is data transfer to your 4.11 recover your account blah 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 and you're going to need the model for two disc in to do this at all times but so now on your 4.11 if you ever want to play if you ever want to use your bypass patch just open that by model for two bypass there and if you ever want to play your 1.13 you can op just open your Modern Warfare 2 as normal there. So that's for the 4. Point, I mean, that's for 1.13 and that's for 1.11. I'm not sure if you can have two 4.11s, but if you do try, I mean, I'm not sure if you can have two 1.11 patches on at the same time, but when you replace the 1.13 patch, you might be able to delete the default underscore mp.self to get a second bypass patch working. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. So this tutorial has taken me a very long time, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and a favourite, and just leave a really nice comment and tell people about this tutorial because it has taken me a long time. So yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Enjoy, and more tutorials come soon.